Well guys, I'm going to give you an update on the 2004 Chevrolet Trailblazer LS for January 2020. So here we go. It's a kind of it's a crappy day out right now. It's been raining and sweeting some this morning. <clears throat> um yeah, this thing's dirty, but things we had to do to it uh first thing the power steering started to leak I don't know I forget when but yeah me and my grandpa had to fix that <clears throat> then the brakes started to grind so we had to get new uh, the driver's side we had to get new brake shoes for and the passenger side we had to get a whole rotor and you know this thing had an alignment issue but it never shook down the road and I guess I had a broken tie rod also, so we had to get that fixed. And we had to put two new front tires on it because that one right there was showing wire pretty badly and the other one was starting to as well. So two brand new fronts and the rears are still the same. So this thing has had stuff done to it. Yeah, it needs washed. We might do that today, I don't know. Go check out the cold start. Yeah, the rear brakes are the same. Yeah, that's tar right there. Still got tar on it. These tires are a little bit different tread than their back ones, both fronts. Alright. Pop the hood. There's Braxton over there, that's my dog. We had to replace the battery. Um, I think uh, it was October we had to replace it because the old one was completely bad. So it's got a brand new battery in it too. I'll show you where the power steering leak was. You see right down there where all that rust was that I scraped off. Where these are, that's where it was leaking at. So we got that fixed and it's been good ever since. That's now 150,000 miles, almost 151,000. I got a video of it hitting 150,000. If you want to go check that out. It's a little ways down, but I'm sure you can find it. Just look it up. Yeah, it does need, we do need to get it another oil change. It's due for one again. Braxton's just staring at me. All right, well, let's get it started. All right. About 34 degrees out right now. All right, there's the inside. This thing is just driving 100% smooth. No shake whatsoever in it. It drives a lot better too. And it's got a little crack here, but it's okay. It's a little wobbly, too. This is the basic model, but it's all right. Who cares, as long as, as, long as it drives. Both the uh, driver's and passenger window, fully automatic. Only down, though. Huh. Yeah, and the speedometer stopped working, too, so you guys know the tachometer and that gauge and oil pressures... Uh, crapped out sometimes, but the speedometer is completely not working anymore. So we're gonna have to get this whole uh, instrument cluster done. That's the last worries. One hundred fifty thousand seven hundred thirty-five miles. Get my phone plugged in. 
This one drains fast. See the one I'm using? It drains pretty fast. I'm using 1080 high definition. Yeah, interior lights. Turn this knob to turn them completely on. This turns them completely off. And this is for fog lights. Yeah, this view might not be the best on this phone than my Galaxy J7s, but it's got a good view on it. Still better than the ZTE. Way better than the... I really like this phone still. <coughs> Horn still works. Got automatic headlights on it. Got the clock. Radio works still. Yeah, it's not the spare key. That goes to another truck, but I just never took them out of here yet. But the brakes are nice and hard now. They're harder than they usually were before, which is actually pretty nice. Got two 12-volt outlets right here. Pa driver and passenger temperature. And you also got rear temperature. I still have to put the seat up, but let's start it up. Here the radio still works pretty good. And this still works. Alright, let's turn everything off. Alright, here we go. Yeah, the oil pressure is working at the moment because before I started this video, I put it back to zero. But it does work, but if you shut it off, it don't go back all the way down to zero. It'll go like down to 20. As you see, it's running right now. Good. Alright, we're going to keep this on, turn this on, and I'll flip the headlights on, fog lights too. Let's check the outside out. Yep, first update for the new year on the Trailblazer. I haven't done an update on it in a while. Fully working lights. I love this truck. It's not bad at all. It's not bad for being a, what it is. It's pretty good shape too, no rust on it. I think that's just a reflector or something. Usually, it's probably a third brake light, but who knows. Got the spare tire still. What the heck do you want? Huh? Runs nice. Purrs like a kitten. What do you want? Put these seats up. I don't know where that sock came from. Come on. I think we got it. Yeah, there's a little mess in here. There we go. There it is. Seats are all back up. See? There's still a lot of life left in these rear tires. Pretty good tires. The back ones still are.
Nice. Yeah, I don't mind the mess, like I said. It's, we're gonna clean it out. We just haven't had the chance yet. I think these shocks are no good anymore. Look how wore out they look. There's that. God, I love your Chevy. What? Quit whining. All right. <clears throat> 35 out right now. That's the high today. It's not going to get any warmer than that, I don't think. I think it's got the four or five speed automatic transmission. It's gotta be four speed, I think. You can see where it says two on the key fob. That's uh, the spare key, that's the key set number two. And the first key, the remote's dead on the first key. So, yeah. So we do have a spare key for this thing if we ever get locked out of it. Just give it a little rev. Gotta love it. Okay. Well Braxton I think is ready to go inside so I but let's go ahead. Well, it's getting a little warmer because we're idling. Let's shut it down. See what I mean by the oil pressure. Ready to go in. Guys, hope you enjoyed the end of look on the Trailblazer 2004. Well, update, not an end of look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that update for the new year 2020. Have a good one, guys.